Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I'm coming back on here today because we're going to show you how to do some more stitches. I'm just going through here to see what we can do today because these are um, a lot of versions of different ones that we've done. I'll show you how to do the feather stitch. I think I've done that before. Uh, so here it is. Feather stitch this page here we'll do that one okay and it's not hard at all to do where's the I've got my needle here and all this is behind you I haven't finished doing this one yet I might just do this bit and then I can um, take it just the thread off there I was in a hurry the other day and I'm very sorry I just run through them really quick <clears throat> But you're just crossing backs and forwards over the the stitches that you've put down. This is a trestle stitch, and it makes a nice little make a nice wall, I reckon, or something like that if you're doing it. So a nice trimmer on the bottom of a supper cloth or something. If you had a such thing these days, please don't ask me what that is. Somebody asked me what a brunch coat was. That's the, that's the thing. That was the question I was asked the other day, and I could not work out for the life of me what the question was. I know what the brunch coat is, and I asked my husband, and he knew too. That was so. That was cool. Well, it must be old. Anyway, brunch coat is a small jacket that's made out of something really fluffy and, and pretty. The ladies wore over the top of their nighties when they're sitting up in bed. Okay, <laughs> so that's what that was, the brunch coat. So I hope whoever ask me that question is watching and she will say because I got some um, what's the name is uh, well you probably could wear it out to have your breakfast you know but I don't think you go up the street with it on it's not that sort of brunch a coat <laughs> okay you have my brunch but anyway so there that's that one finished now so that's good right now um, I've got a few cobbly bits about the back here but we'll be right it's okay, we can pat it on something and it'll look fine. <clears throat> so to do it properly, which probably other ladies are doing this, probably because I guess, uh, you know, they're doing um, their stitches too. There's a couple of them that I watch that are actually started doing them now. So, uh, well, in Brook is one of them. And I don't know the other lady's name. But they'd probably be devastated if they knew how I did mine. But it's it's a, everybody's going to have a different way, aren't they? There's not a there's not a rule. Oh, there is rules if you want to be, you know, in some sort of competition or you want to do it, you know, what you want to make it nicely, and you want the back to look like the front. And lots of people have done that, you know, in previous times. Have the really nice embroidery with the back and the front the same. So I'll show you how to start this off properly. I hope this is not going to fall. It looks, looks a bit tricky. It looks like it could go. I've got piles of stuff packed up here next to me. <clears throat> now I did want to use some name cotton, didn't I? Oh, I've got some here. I just hope it's not too thick to thread through my needle. Should go through. Oh, that's very light. That's the problem with that. You won't be able to see it. What about this one? You can see this. It's a bit darker too, but never mind. It'll be nice. This is just a hank of it that I've got from somewhere. I haven't even bothered to put it on a thing yet. <laughs> when I say bothered to, <laughs> I do have a lot to do. <laughs> I do have a lot to do. Anyway. I'm thinking about doing something else, you know. I'm thinking something you can't do more things uh, you know each day there's just not no not, not enough hours because I was going to go up the street this morning but I couldn't go because it's raining I did want to go and do something before it's, we all get locked in again because we're going to because everybody people over in Victoria have gone outside now I'm going to do the feather stitch <clears throat> so you need I'm, I'm trying to work out where I'll put it because I I've got this here, but I'm going to do something around that so you won't be able to see the, the thread. So I'll go over here, and you come up at the back. Oh dear, I'm not showing you the right way. Wait a minute. <laughs> you don't have a knot. No, don't knot it. Just put your piece of thread through a really good needle that's going to make a hole big enough for your cotton to follow through, okay? 
Okay, now we'll, we'll work here. Okay, we'll work here. Now, you're going to do a little tiny stitch at the, for a back stitch, like so. Okay. There you go. That's, that's you finishing off. This is too long to start a left there. There'll be a tail, but you can cut that off later. <clears throat> and then you just do your work then from now. So we want to go over here and come up, and we're making like a U. Only it's a little further down than that. And then we do another one, and we start at, come at the bottom of this piece here and go across and go down. We come through the bottom of that stitch, come in and go sideways like that. All right. Then we're going to do another one. This is really thick thread, but that's okay. You'll be able to see me, I hope. And that one can go like that. Now you can either continue on doing that that way, or you can start to come out across over here. Now when you come out over here, make sure, we can put it over there, line the first part up with that, and try and keep your stitches at the same size, if you can. It doesn't matter if you can't, you try your best and that's all you can do. And you pr improve with time, <laughs> that's what it is. You just improve with time. And you can do three this way. And then you come back this way, in this direction. You just pull it carefully, don't pull it too tight. Other people are working on hoops, I, I don't know whether, I don't know why, but I've been used to not having a hoop lately. I just, uh, you know, in the last, in the years gone by, I haven't been using a hoop. So, I just hang on to it so it's nice and gentle, you know. Now you haven't got a knot, but you've got that tiny thing there and you just nip him off. Be careful that you do not cut it and um, and just either end that off like this or with a back stitch. Okay, and we learnt that too, didn't we? I'm just going to have to lock that, loop that round there now because I've gone and it, but you can just just end it off with another back stitch. The only thing with this thicker thread that wouldn't have been hiding that very good, you know, the knots and that and the joins and things. So I went so dry through there, but it doesn't matter because I can just do um, something else later, can't I? In it, and it's going to be just all covered in stitching, isn't it? Then, so this is a double feather stitch, and it goes from one side to the other. That's what I just showed you anyway, but you can, like I said, you can just do it straight up. <clears throat> Fishbone stitch. Little tiny bit, um, we'll do the fly stitch leaf thing now. We'll do fly stitch and the fly stitch leaf. Now I'll do it in this colour too because I want to, now, can you see what I'm doing? Okay, we'll just come down a tiny bit there and I'm here, radio. So we can put a bit of, a bit of pink fly stitch leaf, but we'll just do the fly stitch, yeah, we can do fly stitch first, because you just do this, okay, anywhere on your piece, so you got there, oh goodness me, I've still got glue all over me, even though I wiped it, it didn't come off, I, I can't really go out of here and come back, it doesn't sort of, now these look like little chook foots, <laughs> prints, I think, see, and that's it there, there's your stitch. See? Pretty cool, hey? And if you do them in smaller thread, <laughs> which I probably should have done, and I put a knot, and I'm sorry about that, but you don't, I've showed you how to do it the right way, now I'm going to just do what I want, and that's not good. But anyway, I'm so used to doing this. Heirloom sewing. Somebody asked me, about that as well. Heirloom sewing is putting together pieces of lace into fabric. Okay, done with the sewing machine mostly. Years ago, I imagine it was done by hand too, if you didn't have a sewing machine. So these these are little these are little fly stitches. Okay, and they're really good for filling in if you've got a lot of filling in to do. I just do three and maybe with a thinner thread would be nicer 
these this thread is for um, you know show purposes only. <laughs> it's really thick stuff because I wanted to show. And every time I do this, it all falls down to the floor. Well, it doesn't really fall on the floor, but it's sliding away from me. Okay, so that's enough of the pink because we're actually making a decoration, aren't we? On here. <laughs> What else have I got in there? Oh, just take my chair this way a bit and get down these cottons that I've got in here. And we'll get something out that's a colour that we can see. That one you can't. Oh, hang on. There's a yellow one. That's really nice, isn't it? We might have a go at that one. A little leaf with a yellow one. People would probably thought, or well, we probably thought when we were kids in growing up, leaves were only green. People thought leaves were green, <laughs> you know. Never looked at the world. I don't think we look at the world when we're only young, do we? Now I've been on here ten minutes, so I'll do a bit more today. Show you a bit more, give you something to to, to learn. And, oh dear, so a few ladies quite quite keen to do this, so that's good. I'm trying to get some of these glue off me, people. I'm sorry about the my appearance. It's terrible, isn't it? Teaching you how to sew with dirty paws, hands. Oh, it's just, <sighs> should have did the sewing before I did the gluing, eh? Okay, so I'm going to turn that off and I know that I've got another, probably another 15 minutes before we, two, two or three goes, like two or three stitches. Wait a minute, I'll have to push this through here, through this bigger needle, hang on. <laughs> I've got a bigger needle. It's probably the same size. We'll have a look, you see. Come on, <laughs> please. Oh dear. I don't think I've got. Um, I should have a thicker, bigger needle, but I get them and they disappear into the abyss. <laughs> oh, crikey, Sonia, there must be a bigger needle in somewhere. You've got boxes of needles, packets, and boxes and containers. These are tapestry, they're no good, they've got no point on them. And they're tapestry, and they're no good, they've got no point on them. And they're tapestry, I don't do anything with no point, usually. I, they, I use them for wool needles, I don't usually use them for sewing. What are these? They're wool ones too. <laughs> Goodness me. I must have took everything else out of here that was a bit bigger than usual and used them, have I? I think these are the same as what I've got in my hand. The size of the eye on that, I think they are too. Ah oh dear. I'm having this needle issue again, even though I've got them fair here in front of me. I'll just have to continue with this and try and get a thinner piece of thread. <laughs> I'm a stubborn old thing. I want to. <laughs> I really want to use this. I do. So if you turned off, uh, dear oh dear. I'm having a terrible time with this chair again, too. Terrible time with the chair. More orange. <clears throat> These are all pearl cottons. They're all that I'm using. <clears throat> Crochet threads <clears throat> or pearl threads. You can use some of the pearl ones. It just depends what size you want to use the pearl ones because some of them pretty thick as you've just seen and I couldn't get through this needle and I'm going to have to go and make sure I buy some some thicker ones soon bigger ones with a good size eye on them so I can see what I'm doing okay so now we can do a, a, a leaf a leaf um, fly stitch leaf okay so I'll just make that leaf I'll just draw him down here Okay, I'll just draw him how I think I'd like him to look anyway. Let me see that bit in the centre. Okay. 
and then you just come up there. Now you can do these as close together or as far apart as you like it. I put it on that one good. So you, you want to put it up here like you did with the other one. I'm sure that's how you do it, don't you? Yes. And you go right up to the top here. You put that down. You have to put that down through there. And then you come up here. Righto, and then you've got to go this side, I mean the shot, righto, and under there where that piece in the middle is, right, so you're making your fly stitches, and making it into a leaf, so you can put that colour, and you have orange leaves, don't you, all sorts of colours of leaves are, beautiful, purple ones, in the autumn time, we can get up in there, through there and down here, following your little drawing, come back up on the table, <laughs> I'm prepared me, sorry about this, if you've just joined me I'm sometimes not prepared and sometimes I am. So you go down in the back, down in the centre, on your centre line, keep to your centre line there, come up at the bottom of there, and go down at the back, righto? I might just put that down, I oh no, I want to put it down and come up here at the same time, <laughs> all in one go, that's right now, there. So we're going to have one of those wet winters by the look of it which we have not had for a really long time and there that way down through there and up here down through there back up on this one and we're nearly there and we'll just put that piece in the at the bottom and then you can if you want to do a bit of a stem you can do a bit, bit of a stem down from that if you wanted to so that looks really cool doesn't it there's your leaf um i sort of did a leaf there with crete and stitch a bit but it could have been a little bit um together yeah, it's a lot the same and you don't go down in the center uh you if you go back to the <laughs> to the other episode you'll find that that's Right. If I ha if I'm supposed to put up this episode yesterday, I'm sorry because there was issues on and I had to do other things. So I had um, things going on. So you have life, you know, that has to be dealt with as well, <laughs> don't you? Okay. Now I'm going to go around that side of this leaf just by with a bit of a. I suppose I can do it in orange. It'll look all right. I don't mind. I'm going to do a back stitch around here. I think it'll look okay, just for. To, to be filling this in, make it look nicer. I think. So have it sitting there. Hang on a minute. But if you come up the top first, only if we get around the side, that bit there. I'm not actually going over that green bit either, but it doesn't matter, does it? We'll see what it looks like. It'd be all nice. I'll like it. Okay. I might show you how to do a another sort of flower in a minute too. This could be done in the shape of a circle and then you can use it as a flower if you wanted to instead of the shape of a leaf or whatever this is. It's one of those. <laughs> it is one of those. You can use all those sort of stitches on your crazy patchwork. 
which I really want to get back to that again too. I do, I do. <laughs> I might do a, actually I'm going to do a, what sort of cover I'll do for my book. Gypsy one, but I think I'd like to do a cra another bit of crazy patchwork. I still haven't finished one of the things that I'm, one of them, I've still haven't finished a lot of them that I'm working on. I'm just following the, the, the drawn line around here, okay? Following the drawn line. I suppose that's okay, that last stitch a bit, might be too big, I don't think. Put that through the back. So that looks better, doesn't it? Eh? Probably would make something out of each one of these as we go along. I'm just going to end it off on the back with a, with a slip knot. <sighs> the reason that people did these so you couldn't see what the back was like was because they made doilies and things and therefore that would be have nothing on the back. But because I'm going to be putting something on the back of this, won't worry me whether you can see that or not. You won't be able to see if I've got something behind it anyway, I don't think. If it does happen, I'll have to fix it, won't I? Now, um, folded rib the ribbon ones are starting to come along here, so we're just going to keep going past that for a second and see what else I've got here that I can just show you for the... We can do the herringbone stitch. It needs to be done. Um, well, I've got a bit of brightness on that, haven't I? This one's a bright colour. I can use a bit more of this, I guess. That's not too thick. I'll do a herringbone stitch. <clears throat> and then that might be a few done for today, do you think? Yeah, let's see how we go. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to have a um, two rows, so I might do. Oh, I don't want to do it over that side because you've got all the same colour. Now you can do two lines if you want to. You draw two lines. I suppose I'll better do that for you and just so show you what. <sighs> This is a lot fun to use this one in your um, crazy patchwork. Now you come up at the bottom line, you go to the top line and you go over like that. Okay. And then you come down here and you go like this. Now I'm, I've got that sort of lined up. See this one here? I've got that kind of lined up with that. I'm trying to. <laughs> And you go like so. Make sure you keep your thread behind the needle over this way. Got that right. And behind the needle over this way. When you're doing your stitch, okay. <laughs> I'm getting myself confused here behind the needles on you and then you just pull it and you've got this nice herringbone stitch okay right oh, that's good up here don't pull it too tight hope I'm not pulling it too tight I don't think I've been on here that long really have I uh, maybe not. I don't think so. Probably half hour, maybe. Nearly to the end. And put that through the back there like that. Okay. So there's your herringbone stitch. It's a little stitch to end it off. Now you can put a colour on there if you want to. Make a different colour on it so you have a double herringbone stitch and it will look like this here. So all you do is just do that again over the top of it. I wonder if I can do it with the yellow. Will you be able to see it plain enough? I suppose you could with the pink. You should be able to. I'll just do that bit there and then we'll have to come back another time and do a bit more.
okay because as you know there's many many stitches and this is good for like I said for your um now this one here will start I'm starting at the top yes that's one. <laughs> and it'll come over that over this one and you're going to go in between here to do this little stitch here in between those two in between these two pieces and you go in between these two bits up here to do that bit going that way and then you come down this way and you go through those go to do that <laughs> go back up there and do that between those two stitches there on your line and you just keep going across like so I hope you can see what I'm doing and why am I talking <laughs> Strange for I don't know. Oh dear. Okay. It's been a big day. Okay. Get out of bed too early, I think, but I don't want to lay there. And then I can't go back to sleep because the cat doesn't think we should do that. He thinks it's time now to get up, please, and play. Because he's probably gone back to bed now ages ago himself. He thinks we should get up with him, but open doors and things so he can peep out. We can keep the back door open for a little while, but it gets too cold in here and he goes out there for a while and sits out there on his perch. But Jeremy made him, well, well, puts up a piece of timber so he can sit up there on the on the kitchen laundry sink and, and peep out at the birds. And he's got just the right posture because he can hide back and he's only got his feet poking out there. Because before he was sitting out there on the on the sink and, and nearly and hanging onto the edge, <laughs> nearly falling off there. So that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So... There you go. That's how you do that. So thank you everybody for watching. I really hope that you're enjoying this because I know some of you ladies are really getting, you know, into to, to doing a few bits of stitches. So you can do your crazy patchwork. I have got this one here that I'm still working on and really wanting to get a bit more done with that. I really want to get more done with this, so I'm going to have to... Get me threads together and some beads and get going again, aren't I? And um, but anyway, so that's what you can do with all these. Look, I've got hardly any of those on there. I've just got a lot of. I've got a lot of this. Um, what is this, the name of this stitch here? It's like the. <laughs> it's not a herringbone. It's something else. I'm sure it isn't. I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. Let's not confuse you anymore. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.